thank you kindly for choosing to watch this video. Today, I wanted to take some time to discuss the impending release of the 2021 budget caps. I'm sure many of you have seen Toto Wolf, I'm sorry, Christian Spice Horner be asked by Ted Kravitz about what he thought about the rumors or two teams may have may have exceeded the limits of the budget caps of 2021. He was extremely defensive, which didn't seem good. He was absolutely defensive and even more irate when Ted Kravitz said, supposedly, Toto Wolf has said that it was the worst kept secret that some teams have indeed exceeded the limits of the 2021 budget cap. To, I mean, Christian Spice Horner was even more irate that after the, the interview, he said the following, I paraphrase, unless those making such a claim apologize, we will take legal action against them. Again, he was absolutely to the moon of anger that Toto Wolf may have been one of the sources that said that maybe he was aware of some teams possibly that might have exceeded it. Rumors are that one of them is indeed the Red Bull team. Those are rumors. Now, here's what I think about the 2021 budget caps. FIA Formula One, honestly, is on shaky grounds when it comes to credibility. This would go a long way if they do the following. In my opinion, the budget caps limitation should be seen as if it was seen as qualifying. During qualifying, each driver is aware of the track limits. If your lap is within the track limit, that lap would count. If your lap has exceeded the track limit, that lap will be deleted. Everyone is aware of it. So if Formula One, honestly, and the FIA wanted to at least gain some credibility, they would make it a straightforward, full disclosure to gain that credibility. You're either in or you're out. Here's the issue. A year ago, the British pound was exactly $1.37. Last Monday, the British pound was as low as $1.03. Obviously, we're aware that the, the Bank of England went on a bond buying spree to support the pound. Today, the British pound is exactly $1.14. One hundred and fifty six million pounds a year ago is exactly one hundred and fourteen million pounds today. So if a team had spent one hundred and fifty six million pounds a year ago, twenty twenty one, they would be still on par or under the limitation or at the limitation of exactly one hundred and fourteen million pounds. The question then is will guilty teams use the decline of the British pounds as an excuse to cheat? I, I, that is a valid question and I hope for the credibility of the sport and the credibility of the FIA and everyone involved in Formula One that they do not allow the guilty teams to adjust the expenditures of 2021 due to the British decline, the decline of the British pound today. Because if they do that, obviously, it would give a shield to those that are guilty and it would make everyone who is aware look like a, a dumbass. Excuse my French. Honestly, I hope that the FIA stand firm. According to sources, there is indeed a formula. The formula is that to make sure that the teams do not use the decline of the British pound to, adjust, to justify their expenditures. Because remember, I said one more time, a year ago, a team that have spent 156 million pounds is now able to prove that the expenditures are exactly 114 million pounds, which is exactly the budget cap. I hope that's not the case. And that's why I wanted to share and love to hear what you think. Can't wait for Wednesday. Honestly, the FIA is in need of full disclosure. Thank you always for watching. God bless.